Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today we're going to be tier listing a bunch of different things. It's gonna be a lot of hot takes, gonna be a lot of feelings hurt. We're gonna get pretty critical here. First up, we have Call of Duty games. Um, I know some of these games might be pretty near and dear to some of you. Uh, others, you know, I mean, there's a few that stick out to me right away that are that belong in trash. I won't jump right to those. We're gonna try to go in order for most of these. But frankly, let's just jump right into it. Call of Duty Ghosts, my opinion, that's a C tier Call of Duty. I mean, the campaign was pretty trash. The multiplayer, while it was enjoyable in short bursts, putting a ton of time into Call of Duty Ghosts just wasn't a vibe. COD World War II, uh, from what I experienced of it, that's a trash tier COD. Uh, COD 4, uh, I, I believe that's, is that the Nintendo DS case? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, COD 4, that's an S tier. COD 4 is an S tier. Uh, COD Infinite Warfare, that's trash uh, for obvious reasons. No one played it. No one wanted to play it. Terrible. Black Ops 3, you know what? Actually, I think that's a C tier. Yeah, I think that's a C tier. Modern Warfare 2, that's a double S tier. I didn't even know double S tier existed, frankly. But I am I am confident that uh, in some make believe uh, realm where tr double S tier exists, uh, it belongs in that. COD Ghosts is awesome. COD Ghosts was like I said, it was fun in short bursts, but like the campaign, not nearly as memorable as a lot of the other better CODs above it, and the multiplayer a little lackluster. Uh, after a long period of time, I think competitively COD Ghosts was pretty was pretty good, but casually COD Ghosts was not a huge vibe for me. But that was also around the time I was starting to fall off with COD. That was right around the time I was like, ah. And then Advanced Warfare came out, and I was like, uh, you'll see where that goes. World of War, an amazing campaign, um, really top tier. Uh, I just can't put it in S tier. I want to put World of War in S tier, but I can't in good conscience because I don't want to, I don't want to devalue S tier. I think there's a lot of great CODs we could put in those tiers, but I just don't know if COD, World at War, you know what I think for zombies, because it, it brought us zombies, you know, I think that's moving up to S tier. I think I can confidently put that in S tier on the merit that it gave us zombies. I think I'm confident with that. COD Black Ops 1 for the PS3, apparently. Uh, Black Ops 1. <sighs> wow, Black Ops 1, man. That's a double S tier. I, 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 Black Ops 1, an amazing campaign. Some of the best multiplayer we ever had in Call of Duty as well. I mean, dude, you just can't go wrong with Black Ops 1. Not even a little bit. Now, Black Ops 4, however, that's a trash tier game 100%. I don't really know anything that Black Ops 4 did well. So that Black Ops 4, man, come on. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I feel, I'm feeling Modern Warfare 3 is a B tier. You know, Modern Warfare 3, I put a lot of time into it, but I can't really say it's an objectively really strong Call of Duty. I think Modern Warfare 3 was pretty polarizing. Uh, most people loved it or hated it. And frankly, I didn't feel like Modern Warfare 3, what really does it in for me is I don't feel like Modern Warfare 3 contributed a lot to the series. I don't think that aside from the campaign, Modern Warfare 3 even needed to happen like the multiplayer was really not that groundbreaking it was just like it felt like an expansion pack for modern warfare 2 and so on that merit i just don't know if i could put it higher than b it's a pretty b tier game i, I feel like modern warfare 3 in the realm of cod is like the definition of a b tier cod game really that's like the poster child did you put on world of war uh, I bumped World of War up into S tier because it gave us Nazi zombies, which has taken up a large portion of my entire life. Let's be honest. I'm sure many other people, um, you know, the campaign was amazing. It was, I think, groundbreaking. I loved the grit in World of War. I loved the gore and a lot of the, the risks World of War took, a lot of memorable characters, some great voice acting as well, some really sick moments 
in that campaign as well and what it does for the lore what it does for the world building of the series is very sick um and it gave us nazi zombies i think it's an s tier game i think that's worth an s tier if that doesn't earn an s tier i don't know what does black ops 2 black ops 2 is probably um, might be my favorite call of duty uh main, main mainly because of the memories i have associated with black ops 2 uh that's when i started competing uh in, at an amateur you know kind of scrimming level getting back into competitive play and i think competitive play was the best it ever was in black ops 2 there was a lot of support for competitive play the nazi zombies was sick the expansions were lit it had some great maps it brought back a lot of fan favorites the campaign was the best in the series i think because of the non-linear i mean it was linear but it had a feeling of non-linearity with the choices and everything like that and so for that man i'm very i'm very hard pressed i want to put it in double s tier it's definitely up there for me i gotta do it it's a double s game man it, if, in my opinion black ops 2 it's a double s game and finally we have advanced warfare that's a trash tier game a lot of a lot, a lot of trash tier games going on there advanced warfare trash thank you dan the man taze beam can you do fortnite weapons next i'll do fortnite weapons next i don't care sure i haven't put that much time in a fortnite but we'll hit it up let's, let, let's recap really quick we got in double s modern warfare 2 black ops 1 and black ops 2 s tier we got cod 4 and world of war nothing in a tier for some reason don't know how that happened b tier we have modern warfare 3 very confident about that cod ghost in c tier and and frankly i would be willing to hear an argument as to why it doesn't belong in c tier because it's not a hard c for me i think it's a high c low b in my opinion ghost is bad there's a lot of people that will go to bat for ghosts uh ghost i think was another one of those polarizing call of duties that found a lot of people on the fence uh and i understand that uh, Warzone. Uh, if Warzone were on this list in terms of COD Modern Warfare, this is an, an updated list. I think COD Modern Warfare is actually an A tier. I would actually, I think I would actually put Modern Warfare, the current Modern Warfare, in A tier. Warzone is one of the best BRs I've ever played. Um, aside from how terribly buggy it is, aside from how terribly managed it is right now by Infinity War with some of the new updates. I think it's an A tier. I think Warzone is awesome. I really love Warzone. I've been playing it a lot lately. Might even stream it later. I would also rate, well, I don't know if there's a tier list for like Warzone weapons. I would do that in a heartbeat. Um, but yeah, but yeah, Dan, I wasn't a much of a fan of, of Ghosts either. And as you can see, I wasn't much of a fan of Black Ops 3. I was very disappointed in Black Ops 3. I was very excited for it and then disappointed when it came out and I played it. Uh, it just wasn't my vibe. I think Zombies was the best part of Black Ops 3, but it just wasn't enough for me uh world world war ii awful infinite warfare awful black ops 4 a joke clown clown level call of duty right there with black ops 4 and then advanced warfare was the beginning of the end in my opinion that goes in trash 100 percent. anyway let's move on